Today I'm going to share my three favorite beauty lighting modifiers and how I use each to create very different results. I'm Lindsay Adler, a photographer and photo educator based in New York City. One of my specialties is beauty photography. I just find it so inspiring that we can transform the human face with lighting and makeup and creative effects, or we can simply capture its raw beauty. I feel like I'm never going to run out of creative ways to capture exciting beauty images. But one of the ways I create such variety is by knowing the right tools for the job, especially when it comes to lighting. I'd like to share with you my three favorite beauty lighting modifiers. The Magnum Reflector, the White Beauty Dish, and the Scrim. Each of these create wildly different qualities of lights and mood, but each of them are important to my beauty photography. So let's take a closer look at these three beauty lighting modifiers. A Magnum Reflector is a hard light modifier that creates bright and crisp illumination on your subject. If I want the light to look a little bit more sunny, maybe have more specular highlights, crisp, defined shadow edges, I reach for my Magnum light modifier. Now, out of my favorite beauty lighting modifiers, this is the hardest quality of light. It tends to be a little bit harsher on the skin. Uh, it shows more texture, like wrinkles and blemishes. But if you have a good combination of good makeup and then a little bit of retouching, this helps to remedy any undesired results. Now, that being said, sometimes I purposefully want more texture, especially if I'm creating a makeup look maybe with powder or other element that I really want to have more depth and texture to it. Now, I personally love the control I get over the shadows, especially when I'm using a harder light source, because it's perfect if I'm trying to aim for maybe a vintage hard light look or maybe an image that looks like it's bathed in sunlight. A beauty dish, sometimes called the soft light reflector, is a softer light source, but it has a bit of pop and contrast to it. A beauty dish, basically, it's a shallow bowl-shaped modifier and has a reflective plate covering the flash head. And because of this, the light is doubly reflected. It reflects into the plate, back onto the dish, and then back onto the subject. I choose a beauty dish when I want light that's flattering on the skin, really smooth, almost creamy effect, but I want a little bit more contrast, a little bit more definition to the shadows. A white beauty dish is great for cosmetic shots, beauty portraits, and honestly, it's the modifier I use most often because it has the best of both worlds. It's very soft, but it has some qualities of hard light. I get flattering quality of light for the skin, but also more control over the shadows. And I, I frequently add a grid to a beauty dish to control the spill of light, especially if I'm gelling the background. When I'm looking to create the softest, smoothest light possible, I set up a scrim. A scrim is by far the softest of my three favorite beauty lighting modifiers. To put it simply, a scrim is nothing more than a frame with diffusion material. Now, when you light the diffusion material with a strobe, it becomes an extremely large, diffused, and soft light source. Scrims come in different sizes, 4x4, 6x6, 8x8, even larger. And the larger the scrim, the softer the light. Now, I use scrims all the time when I'm creating images about skin. If I want soft, smooth, glowing skin, I reach for an eight by eight foot Westcott scrim gym, typically with a three, four stop diffusion. Now, if you don't wanna to have to do much retouching or if you just want soft, soft, soft light, a scrim is the way to go. The downside, of course, is that because it's larger, it doesn't work in every space and it's not really a portable solution. But that being said, I find myself bringing it out in the studio all the time because the quality of light is to die for. If you end up buying a scrim, make sure you don't have your strobe too close to the modifier. You'll need to back it up a little bit to give it time to spread out and more evenly illuminate the diffusion material. With my three favorite beauty lighting modifiers, I have a selection of quality of lights to help me achieve whatever mood and concept I need for the shoot. If I need something with contrast that feels like sunlight, I grab the Magnum. If I need something perfectly smooth on the skin, I grab the Scrim. If I need more control, smooth skin with a pop of contrast, I grab my beauty dish. It's not about which tool is the best, but which tool is the best for the job. If you'd like to check out the gear in this video or to learn more, visit adorama.com. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.